think we have like a silver cord that is attached uh, to our bodies uh, so that we cannot get lost because I think that's something people might be uh, afraid of. And my second question is, can we go anywhere? <gasps> oh, I'm getting <laughs> shivers. It's my favorite thing, going anywhere. Okay, so to answer the silver cord question, um, we have to talk about, okay, if consciousness and reality are somehow entangled and the planes that we go to are somehow related to us, um, then there are what are called consensus realities. This is a term from, uh, again, Robert Monroe. So there is this idea that there are these belief system territories, different environments, different planes that we enter because of core beliefs. So for example, a Christian might experience Christian heaven. Um, in Buddhism, you might experience one of the hell realms because it's within your belief system and therefore it's within your perception and you have the doorway to actually go there because it's within your awareness. So if that is the case, if there are these consensus realities where people with collective beliefs can enter them, these collective planes of existence, then there must be things like the silver cord in regards to if many, many people believe in the silver cord, uh, then would I see the silver cord? I've never seen the silver cord and I've never had one. However, a couple of people have said they've seen the silver cord. So I'm thinking, well, does the silver cord objectively exist whether we see it or not? That's the question. And then the other question is, do I see the silver cord because I believe there's a silver cord to see in the first place? And again, this brings into idea, well, how much is there an objective reality and, and not effectively? But some people have seen it. Some people haven't seen it. What I will speak to is that I don't believe that if it is cut, you will die. Um, I definitely don't believe that. And I think I can probably speak on behalf of the world's top teachers that they would say the same thing um, as well with that. You can always come back to your physical body. In fact, it's hard to stay out. There's many techniques I have to teach people because they come out, they get so excited, they shoot back to their body or they get so scared, they shoot back to their body. An average experience is just a minute, it, not even a minute, particularly for beginners. And then a lot of the longest experience is probably about 20 minutes. This is what Graham Nichols has come to the conclusion of. Um, so it's hard to stay out of body. Although, because time isn't experienced in the same way, it could feel like you're there for a very long time. I've had a few very, very long experiences, but because I'm a mature astral projector, I've got I've gone to myself. At some point, I know this will end and I will wake up because it's true. That's what does happen. So you just say to yourself so you don't panic. At some point, this will end. But if you're having a really long experience, which is relatively rare, amazing. Do your projection plan. Go to the places you want to go to. Choose where you want to go. Actually use it rather than kind of wandering around. I wasted a couple of really long OBEs in my beginning of my journey just pottering around the streets and walking up to people and not really doing anything. Whereas now I teach in the workshops to have a plan. You have a plan, what are you gonna do? Why are you gonna do it? And this is related to your intention and your motivation. And you can even ask if you work with spirit guides, uh, power animals, um, your ancestors, you can ask them to come on board and help you to achieve these different aims that you might have in the astral plane. So we don't waste these really wonderful transpersonal mystical experiences makes so much sense and i would love for you to share can we go anywhere what can we experience uh you mentioned oh i was just going around and talking to people who are those people can we encounter people that are also travelers so uh, mm -hmm. i would love for you to share you know some examples of what you have experienced uh, to see what's possible uh, and address. Are there limitations or can we go anywhere? Oh, that in the same question, are there limitations or could we go anywhere? The, there's a yes to both of those and they both interact. We can go anywhere. There are ultimate, infinite possibilities that are endless. That is the first thing. Many of us don't get to here because there are limitations that we put in place ourselves that block us from accessing these things. This is our limiting beliefs. 
the stories we tell ourselves, our fears, uh, unintegrated trauma that might stop us. In the Mexican Toltec tradition, they talk about how trauma keeps us bound to the body. And they have the opposite interpretation of Western psychology. Western psychology says, if you are so dissociated from your body, you will astral project, you, you will have an OBE. They don't recognize astral projection, but they recognize the phenomena about body experiences. Whereas in the Mexican Toltec tradition, they say, no, you would have more out-of-body experiences if you weren't heavily traumatized, which keeps your astral body locked to your physical body. And if you work with chakra systems in the yogic system, they say something similar that you have to clear or purify or um, yeah, the astral body before it's able to get to certain places. And that is related to the psyche, the mind and the trauma that we've been through. So we can go anywhere, but we might take us some work to get there, but we can do it and we can all do it. We don't have to be a special monk or shaman person to do this. And then this, the first question that you had, what was that again? Sorry. Yeah, like I'm curious. You said oh, yeah, walking around and talking to people. Yeah. What people, are you saying that you're seeing the physical people in this physical world and you're like, mm -hmm. hello, or is it astral beings? Yeah. Because uh, for someone who's totally new to this, how, what, what are some of the things that you have experienced that are quite, you know, mind blowing? I'm just curious to also yeah. learn a bit more about the universe through your experience. So what people report and what I've had, so you can, you can come out of your body into, we call this physical reality or everyday reality, and you can go and see people. You can't speak to them, but you can see people walking down the road, walking in the street. Sometimes if you get really close or you try to say something, they'll kind of stop and look like they've heard something or they've sensed something but actually they don't really see you. I think in very rare occasions of people being able to influence, but th that's extremely rare and there are very limited stories of that. Um, but then, so get this, you can have, you can enter also some more subtle realms where you can have experience with entities or beings as their own thing, but then you can have what we call double perception. So this is what I mean about not having certain ideas about reality. You can come out into the physical world see people on this plane walking down the road as they would do in real life but then you can have an overlay of seeing like you've got a second sight um a being in the same place like it's interdimensional two realities at the same time overlapping and you're in both at the same time i'll give you an example of this i came out of my body i went into the park outside my window and I saw people and cars going down the street as normal. I just usually ignore them because I think they can just be a detour for doing deeper work. And I saw a being in the park. I think it was a, a, what would be called maybe a nature element or elemental. That's how I perceived it anyway through my education. And, um, and I went up to it and I was so excited. I was like, oh my God. Like I really wanted to talk to it and be friends or see, you know, see what it was doing. And I ran up to it with this enthusiastic energy and scared it off. <laughs> so it just flitted immediately, super quick, and it was gone. So I just scared it, um, which, which again, that was new for me. So I, I hadn't realized that before. I should have maybe approached more cautiously in a more calm manner. Um, so this is I had these two perceptions of these different things overlaid and there's similar ones you can have in space as well or this is what people report and I've had um, seeing kind of civilizations uh, within space or different cosmic systems but then overlaying and seeing another solar system over that so rather than seeing things as operating in I'm, something is here something is here something is here in terms of linear space of time actually it seems to be more interdimensional more quantum and this is when you can get into theories of quantum consciousness uh, and how things operate in that's in that way that's a whole other thing if if you've never heard of this that's a whole other thing we could go go into later down the line but yeah it seems to be more interdimensional and this is where you can shift channels pretty quickly where you can teleport from one place to another when you get when you get better to watch the full video, click the link below and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel.